At what point did you discover, you know, I, I want to be an actor. This is something I want to pursue full time. I went to, in New York, a place called the Henry Street Settlement. It's down on the, near Delancey Street. You used to have to take mm-hmm. three trains to get down there. The last one was the F train. And then I had to walk, I don't know how many blocks, but I got into a play down there. My girlfriend from uh, Music and Art, which is where I went, High School of Music and Art. And she took me down there and I was like, I don't know, 15. And I got into a play to make $12 per show on the weekend, four shows. And I had one line and um, I liked it. But then I enrolled in acting classes down there with Woody King Jr. And I began to take acting lessons for five solid years. And then I realized that this is what I wanted to do. It took me that long. Yeah, because I graduated from Long Island University. You know, the Brooklyn Center? Mm -hmm. Over there, I know. Everybody's in Brooklyn now. It wasn't so popular then. Everybody's like, you going to Brooklyn? Now it's like, I live in Brooklyn. You know, everybody's so proud. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they're Fort Greene. You mentioned you graduated from um, Long LIU. Island University. Yeah, and, and you graduated with a degree in what? In education? Uh-huh, yes, American history. I taught, I, I taught at Brooklyn Technical High School, which was down a few blocks from Long Island University. All boys. Um, before I got a soap opera. <laughs> my life. That's what what, I said. what grade was that? What, what grade would you teach? Ninth and tenth. Nasty little okay. boys. It, no, no, no. You say some nasty little boys, but but I I remember you. I remember when you hit the screen when when I got introduced to you as a child on two two seven, and it was like you had that Lord have mercy. Like it was like Lord have mercy. Who is that woman on the screen? So you talking about you teaching ninth and tenth graders? I know they couldn't focus. Uh uh-uh. uh, they focus because I don't take that mess. I still don't. We are who we are, but I've learned physical doesn't mean anything unless you can back it up. You know, that's right. That's why I try to teach these young young girls out here. But some people can handle it. You know, like Megan the Stallion. I love her. It's like if you can handle that image and all that's going on with it. And back then, when I was on two two seven, I can handle it. You know, my uh, I can I can back it up. <laughs> that means that you know all that image you're trying to project. You better be able to say this is what I am. Don't fake it. Don't try to fake mm-hmm. it because beauty doesn't sustain, as we all know. No, that's that's right. And you know, your character at that time was was very groundbreaking. Um, you know, and we'll get into that. I want to go backwards for a second because. You you started out on the stories. You started out on the soap operas, correct? Yes, another world. It's the funk now, but yes, I uh, I was in heaven. It was a, my biggest job at my foray into TV. I loved it. I got four hundred fifty dollars per show. Ooh, and that was a lot of money back then, nineteen eighty one. But I had to go to Brooklyn to tape it at the same studios where Bill Cosby was, the Astoria Studios. You know, with a silver mm. cup. It, that was so pop. That was huge. Back then, he had, he built it. You know, he took the studio and had it, you know, made new. It was fabulous time. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I did it for two how, years. How long was you on it? Two years. But then I got 227. So I did both for a while because I thought I'd be fired from 227. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I'd be fired, to be honest with you. I want to live, I want to live in New York. I didn't want to go to L.A. I thought, you Really? Know, no, because I said I'm an actor. I'm I'm dramatic. I'm brilliant. And I, I, you know, I was. I was working a lot. Everything. I I had it going on. I had a man, fiance. I had a life. You know, and that's the way New Yorkers feel today. It's like, I don't want to go out to L.A. You know, because if you have it together, of course, now with the advent of the Internet, you can do both. But back Mm -hmm. then you were considered below level if you took a sitcom. It's like a sitcom. Mm -hmm. Till I saw that check, I went, "Mm mm-hmm. But it, it definitely changed my life forever. So you went from making four hundred and fifty dollars in uh, an episode on Another World, and I'm assuming you're still auditioning at this time. No, no. I had gotten that job. I was doing a movie with Robin Williams, and I was also doing a play. I'm telling you, I I had a when I say I had a life, I was it. I was in full effect, so I didn't have a desperation about me. When I auditioned mm-hmm. for 227, I didn't even plan to get it. I just did it because my agent said, go do this audition. And then when I got out there to L.A., 
I still wasn't, you know, I didn't, I wasn't hungry, but I, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to be competitive. So mm -hmm. when I saw all those 300 women at that audition, I was like, oh, please. <laughs> but that's how you have to be. If you're going to be in this business, you have to say, oh, no, I'm, I'm the shit. <laughs> of course, mm -hmm, I didn't think mm -hmm. that way, but I knew. I said, I know I'll, I can get this. But I didn't, you know, I didn't put anything behind it. Now, when I look back, I was like, oh, fearless, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How many times do you have to audition for that part? Once. Excuse me? Once. No call yeah, back, yeah. nothing. Got it right there. Got it. Well, mm -hmm. actually got it. We did the audition. They took us back to our hotel because they had us all, all the ladies in one hotel. Like, a, ooh, we had so much fun. I knew a lot of the women. And I got back to the room and we had our doors open because everybody wanted to wait for a phone call. I got a phone call and they said, you got it. And I was mortified. I was like, I got to stay here. I was in tears. But when I got back, I didn't tell them. They were like, well, what is it? What is it? I said, oh, no, that was just another call. I never even told them. I got on a plane and went back to New York and they made me come back because I, I wanted to turn it down. Can you believe that? Now, that's a first. I never told anybody that because I didn't know the importance of it. I really didn't. I didn't know anything about sitcoms. I knew nothing. There were not that many black actors out in Hollywood at that time, you know, mm -hmm. on television. It was a very select few who were steadily working. So I wasn't, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know anybody. It was totally new. I knew one person on the show and she and I both came out here, Elena Reed, who is now passed. And um, it was a whole new world, you know, from zero to 60. Wow. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Mm -hmm. You. You, when, when, when you did that interview and you said it was something like three, four hundred people in there interviewing at the time, was it any recognizable faces that's going on to do great things? Well, Shirley Ralph was one of them, but she was already out there. She had a contract with Fox, so she was already jamming. And the other ladies, they, um, they're still acting, yeah. And they, uh, really? Uh, Anna Maria Horsfish, she got an amen. Yeah, people got jobs, mm -hmm. yes. But that was a big deal. But I didn't know it, you know. I was just trying to be fly <laughs> that's all you know and I still try to do that and I try to instruct people to do that when you show up show out don't mm -hmm. go in half you know half ways I like a strong I like a strong presentation I don't like a little weak you know you know it's like when you watch basketball you don't want no milk toast player you know you want somebody that you want LeBron mm -hmm. you know but of course I was Michael Jordan in my mind but <laughs> I'm just making an analogy. You, you know, you want to come off really fierce. And that's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to uh, be anything else. But it got me in a lot of trouble. 